Welcome to the ADR video informational series. In this video, we will be introducing three tools for checking web pages for accessibility. The first one is the A Inspector for Firefox. The next one is the Wave Chrome extension. This same extension is available as an add on for Firefox, too. Finally, the last one we will look at is the Wave Tester found at wave.webaim.org. You can drop any URL into this web page from any browser. We will be using the a.news web page as our demo page. To use the A Inspector for Firefox, click on the A Inspector icon and inspection results will open up in a window on the left. Looking at the window that opens more closely, you can see the results are listed according to two guidelines, Rule Categories and WCAG Guidelines. For each of the items, the number of violations, warnings, manual checks, and passes are tallied. Items identified as violations should either be corrected or the web pages avoided. Items identified as warnings should be looked at more closely, but also be either corrected or web pages avoided. Items identified as manual checks should be tested for usability and accessibility using access technologies. Finally, those items marked as pass are accessible and, no, and need no further attention. We can then highlight one of the items in the list, in this case headings, and for headings we see that there is one rule violation and three items to pass. To get more information on these items, we click on the details button below the list, and then another list will come up specifying the result for each specific rule. We can then highlight the rule listed as a violation. Again, click on the Details button below the list. A window with Details Actions and Element Results tabs will open. Under the Details Action tab, detailed information will appear, including a definition of the issue, actions to take to remediate the issue, the purpose of the action or reason the issue is important. Scrolling down, you will see techniques for remediating the issue, and then additional information on guidelines for compliance. Then, by switching the Element Results tab, you will get a list of all the specific places on the page that are violations. At this point, you can select VW or Violations and Warnings in the drop-down menu, and the offending items in the page will be highlighted and can then be addressed. Now, we will take a look at the Wave Chrome extension. The extension is also an add-on for Firefox that works in the same way. You click on the Wave icon, and a list appears specifying errors, alerts, and other features of note. You can see that the features have also been tagged on the web page with the respective colored tags, red for errors, yellow for warnings, etc. You can click on any of the tags in the web page to get information on the issue associated with the tagged feature. In this case, the language of the page has not been specified. You can take a different view by clicking on the No Styles tab above the list. And, as before, click on the flags on the page for a brief description about why the item is, was identified. You can look at the whole page by scrolling down. Next, you can look at the contrast errors. By selecting the Contrast tab above the list, this will open a window that provides details by clicking on the error in the list. This will take you to the error on the page. And also provide information on the level of compliance here. Going back to either the Styles or No Styles tabs and choosing the flag icon from the tabs on the side of the list, a list of individual flags will be displayed. When you click on an item in the list, it will take you to the location on the page of that item.
You can then select the information icon beside the item of interest to get more information. This information includes the name of the error, what it, what it means, why it matters, and best of all, how to fix it, including information on algorithms, and finally, links to applicable standards and guidelines. You can then click on the Heading tab on the side for a map of the heading nesting structure. In this case, you can see some of the heading levels have been skipped. This is identified as a warning because it may make navigating more difficult, but not impossible. Still, it may negatively affect the user experience. Finally, we will look at the check from webaim.org. You can use this checker in almost any browser. You simply type in wave.webaim.org. And a box will be displayed in which you can type or paste the URL for the page you would like to check. The checker is useful for checking already posted web pages in any browser. You can see that it is the same list that opens as with the Wave Chrome extension, and it can be explored in the same way. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your interest in Access for All.